Hello, it is good to be with you. I have a story today that was told a long time ago, many, many years ago. And it's as important to tell today as it was many years ago. Once upon a time, there was a king who sat on a balcony with his royal advisor, eating royal rice cakes with honey. The royal advisor was telling a joke and making merry, and the king threw his head back and laughed, and as he laughed, a drop of honey dripped off of his rice cake and fell on the banister on the balcony. And the royal advisor said, Oh, dear king, there is a drop of honey on the banister. I will call the servants to have them come and clean it up. And the king said, It is nothing. It is a drop of honey. A drop of honey. It does not matter. It is nothing. Oh, very well. And so the royal advisor continued telling his joke. The sun up overhead, it was beating down. It heated up that drop of honey, and the drop of honey spread and soon dripped over the side of the banister and fell down into the street below. And the royal advisor said, Oh, dear, dear king, the, the drop of honey has dripped down at, in, into the street below. And the king said, it is nothing. It is a drop of honey. <laughs> it is just a drop of honey. Um, and he continued on. Well, a passing fly didn't think that a drop of honey was nothing. And he circled back around and started having a grand feast. A gecko who was sunning himself on the wall of the palace saw the fly having a feast and decided to have one of his own. He scampered down that wall and <laughs> ate up that fly. A cat who was sunning herself saw the gecko and pounced, started batting that gecko back and forth. The royal advisor, noticing this, said, Oh dear, there is a gecko being tortured down below. And the king said, it is nothing. <laughs> it is just a gecko. What do I care for a gecko? <laughs> and so the cat continued to torture this poor little animal, batting it here, tossing it up, catching it again. And a dog, a neighborhood dog, seeing the cat, decided to bark. And the cat turned and hissed and yowled at the dog. And soon they were chasing each other round and round. The royal advisor said, oh dear king, now there is a cat and dog fighting in the streets. And the king said, it is nothing. It is just animals, animals in the street. I don't care. Well, the cat owner cared. He came out with his broom and started shaking his broom at the dog. The dog owner came out and started shaking a stick at the cat. And pretty soon the dog and the cat owner, they started throwing words back and forth, arguing. And the royal advisor said, oh dear king, now there are people arguing in the street. And the king said, they are peasants. Merely peasants, they are nothing, nothing. Well, the cat owner's friends, they came out and joined their voices with the cat owner's voice, started arguing all together at the dog owner and the dog owner's friends came out and they started getting into the fray and soon all the, all the people, they were arguing back and forth and. The royal advisor said, oh dear, it's not just a couple of people arguing in the streets. There are, my goodness, there are at least a dozen down there. And the king said, a dozen, a dozen peasants. They'll, they'll figure it out. They are not worth my time. Well, the arguing could be heard near and far. Mm, pretty soon people came out to see what all the fuss was about and other people came from the other direction to see what all the fuss was about 
and soon they were no longer fighting over the dog and the cat. They were fighting over their discontent. And pretty soon it wasn't just with words. Pretty soon they used their broom and their stick and their fists and their feet, and everybody was fighting in the street. And the royal advisor said, Oh, dear king, it is no longer a dozen people arguing in the street. Now it's fists and, and sticks and, oh my goodness, there are people being hurt down there. And the king said, it is nothing. It, it is, it is not. Oh dear. People were streaming into the street below the palace. The voices were raised up in anger. And the, the, the royal advisor said, oh dear king, shouldn't I send the guards out to break up this fighting? Oh, very well. Send him out. Send him out. And the guards went out, at first to break up the fighting. But soon the wave of anger and discontent washed over them. And soon the guards were fighting as much as the people of the street. It was no longer about a dog and a cat. Now it was about their very lives. And so, soon civil war broke out in that kingdom. And houses were burned to the ground. And as the palace itself was burning, the royal advisor and the king, running for their lives, paused for just a moment as the royal advisor said to the king, A drop of honey, sir, is something. It may be small, but it is something. And that is the story of the kingdom that was lost but for a drop of honey. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Look down in the description below for some activities and hope you're subscribed. Take care. Bye-bye.